What's up guys, E46 Fix here again. And um, if you missed any of my videos previously on how to uninstall your uh, lock switch and your your flashers on a 205 E46, one of the things you missed was just you wanna take two flat heads, put them on each side of this. You can do them on the inside or out, preferably inside, it'll be a little easier. And once you start to see that, you can kind of just wedge a little flat head into these little slips and just gently pull it up and that'll avoid you uh, breaking one of the notorious clips that are found inside there just gonna be one of those clips right there and so a little fix for this is some electrical tape so if you have some electrical tape, just need some thing to cut it, or you can just rip it. It'll be cleaner if you cut it. You're gonna get out your little scissors, Swiss Army knife. And so for this one, what I'm actually gonna do is tape it first, then I'm gonna install it in there. Um, you, I'm just gonna make sure I don't tape too close to this part right here. So as you can see, this has to slide inside there, and if you put too much tape, probably won't fit. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's literally, the plastic is deteriorating on this thing, so you wanna be careful. Let's see. Now we got our tape, we're gonna want that. We're gonna want that on there just like that. And what I'm actually gonna do to play it safe is just actually tape that one section on there first. No worries. I just ripped off a little bit. taping that on there just how it would be from the factory so now as you can see we got both of our clips on there still want to be careful because that's you know, gonna be very fragile but now we want to make sure that this bottom piece here because I made a mistake in an earlier video saying that this little switch on here was a reset switch it is in fact not a reset switch it's just a release switch to release it out of this thing when it's inside here and the reason why it came back on when uh, I did that was because I was pushing this down. And over time, this plastic right here will flare out. And as it's flaring out, as it's gotten older, it's pushed the little battery pack, so to speak, out. So we're just going to, I'm going to do more of the same here. get a good so rip the tape and then before you put it on you want to actually put some pressure onto this thing you're gonna make sure it's actually pushed down to where you can see your buttons are actually kind of almost pushed up on the other side so as I push this in you want to see these buttons go up that way what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tape that right there very edge but make sure as I come through you want to squeeze it tightly make sure that you are pushing it down far enough because if this comes out again or comes up again rather your flashers are going to continue to not work and your lock switch and so there you have it that alone is enough to solve the issue but of course, you know, since it's a, a not really that much of a hassle getting in here, um, since you already are in here, you might as well go ahead and tape from here all the way over. And that will help keep that battery or whatever that thing is in place so that your flashers and your lock switch will continue to work.
All right, so I think I got enough. I'm gonna do one more strip right here. And then just to make sure that all these hold into place, I'm gonna do one strip actually around the whole thing on the bottom, right around there, right around there. It's not perfect. I mean, I definitely rushed this tape job. Final piece. And if, this is just electrical tape, by the way, in case any of you didn't know what type of tape it was. So now just to play it safe, since that's the clip that's broken, I'm actually gonna tape it from here. Actually give it just a little bit more reinforcement. Get that on there tight. We're one more piece all the way around the bottom just because just in case that piece because that does in the future will probably break wouldn't surprise me or it could have broken because of the technique i used but i'm going to wrap another piece of tape around this just to play it safe and then we will be done with our lock switch and flashers on the 46. Just in case and that also will help just in case i accidentally break again and out the clip won't go flying away we'll actually have should be connected to tape theoretically all right so i'll admit it's not the cleanest job in terms of the tape it could be a lot smoother you can use your own discretion at home making your tape as smooth as possible but it's not bad it's going to be better than it was before which is going to be flashes that weren't working before so let's give it a shot Just turn that way. And for this, you might need, if it doesn't slide right in, cool. Slid right in. Make sure it hooks. Make sure your hook's working good. Cool. So we got that in there. You're just going to lightly, I actually vacuumed out this a little bit too. You should do the same if you get a chance while you have it out just to keep it clean. Flashers are working. Lock switch is working. I have to shut the door to show you that one, which is awesome. That's definitely awesome. So that's it, guys. And then in order to get it back in, you're just gonna and you want to make sure that this you you install it how it came in because these wires you don't want to bend them the opposite way. They're not meant to be bent, but just slightly kind of push it back in there. And same thing with this. Then we're just gonna push it on the edges. Boom, you get it back in installed. And let's just double check, make sure it still works while it's in there. Perfect. Flashers work. Shut the door. Lock switch works. Awesome. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. This is E46 Fix. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot more content here shortly on, uh, you know, upgrades, installs, maintenance, whatever you need to know on your uh, BMW E46. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one.